Hello, and welcome back to Quest for Glory 2. Last time, we needed to get a source, and I was broke. How broke? Very! I need at least 20. I've got seven. I think we have two days to uh, be able to purchase this thing, so let's find some money. And he's right. Oh, wait. I think the easiest way to get the money we need is to get some Whirling Dervish. Uh, what is a Whirling Dervish? Well, first you need to know where the Dervish is. Which reminds me. Ah, crap. Um, is there a way to... There we go. Fast forward! One of the few <laughs> advantages of playing in uh, box, And he will not shut up. Preschool and plastic. What? No, shut up! Ask about Dervish. Dervish lives at the Oasis to the south. Would you stop talking? Ask about Oasis. Oasis! Uh, the life giving water. It's five lengths south, three lengths east. All right, now we know where to go. Run, please. No, no, shut up. Uh, if I must be perfectly honest, is actually a take two. Take one, I, well, died in the desert because I forgot where the overlook or where the oasis was. Alright, it's... Uh, one... Two... And three to the east. And now we head... Straight out in the desert. Five screens, so we should be at the oasis. I wonder if you can actually, like, drink cactus juices. Probably not. That would be, like, disgusting, anyway. It's supposed to be, like, really... Ah, here he is! This is the dervish! Hero business, like, eating peanuts. Oh, boy. Talk to man. Ask him. Ask right man. Ask the right person. <laughs> okay, fine. No, oh, we have water here, so let's fill skin. That's right, it doesn't work that way. Fill water. Which is helpful. Now, the world pit of Whirling Dervish is uh, a bit strange, but keep in mind it's keeping laughing that wants it. Take beard. Take a small piece of the Dervish's beard and put it carefully away. And that's the Whirling Dervish. Because it's whirling up a tree. I'm not quite sure what it's he's going to use it for. Probably some terrible, terrible pun. And now we head back. I'm still hoping we get jumped by something. Uh, the last time it wasn't even like a fight that killed me. I fought one bandit and absolutely nothing else. Whoa! Okay. Cast flame. This game, you have to aim it. Combat is uh, up arrow stabs, um, left and right parry, and back is dodge. Basically, with the dagger, you can dodge and stab. And if you stab, you 
It's actually easier to just do this. We can barely hurt this thing. So, oh god. There we go, cast flame. We'll just do this, since we have the magic in our mage. This is not cheesy at all. It only used half my magic? That is a terrifying looking thing. Ugh. Search body. Find nothing of value. Take Stinger. Ah, yes. One of the items that the Alchemist, I believe, will purchase. Between this and the Warly Dervish, I believe we will have enough money. We'll find out. Uh, if I'm wrong, we'll come out back out and look for a few more things. This went much better. And you're going to taunt me again. So they call you a hero, eh? What kind of hero are you, walking around like nobody when you could be riding a Saurus across this uh, noble steed, right? Wait until you see what he sells us. Guide to sightseeing in rush year. It's only got a one page. Oh, God. Run, please. I, I think you can... Uh, give the piper there money and I think that counts toward becoming a paladin if I remember correctly oh, since we're here let's see does he want let's see here ask about job let's try that again okay Cell Stinger. What is that? Tail. Ah, there we go! Straight up. Twenty. Twenty deniers. That is always nice. I'm also really glad we didn't get poisoned by that thing. That would be really annoying. You know, now that I stop and think about it, the weird thing with the Quest for Glory games... You actually die less than in any other Sierra Adventure game I've ever played. Yes, yes, you are hilarious. Give beard some world from Dervish Frabjus Day. Nears that I must pay. How much do you give me? How much did you give me? Um, well, not too much. But we have enough for the stupid horse thing. Let's go south. Yeah. Come to think of it. Look, map. I forgot we have it. Wait, out to the source lot. Ha, <laughs> yes, you. You do want to buy a Saurus, don't you? Yes, yes, I do. Haggle. We got the gentleman to agree is beyond me. Uh, you pay him his money. And now, what sort of mighty steed? Ew! Uh, start heading off. I must be going in the exact line if I ever heard one. <laughs> Yay, we never have to see that guy again. Why is it green? <laughs> I 
No, they weren't. I believe the main thing is, when you're riding the Saurus, you lose less water while out in the desert. I don't think we can... It won't let me go in there. Yeah. Dismount. Thank you, guard. This guard is really helpful. He told me where the oasis is. He puts the thing in the stable so we don't have to frog around with opening the gates every time. How nice. A duck? I want a duck. I want a duck. You're not going to have a duck, are you? No, you don't have a duck. You lie. All right. What can we do? I think we'll go do wit. Hmm. We need to find the Wizards Institute, and that's actually easier than you think, if you think magically. If you cast Detect, you'll get a little arrow. It is straight ahead. It's a little bit less obvious than you'd think. And, yeah, you, you just follow the arrows, and, uh, you will get there. Of course. I love the little pose. See, that reminds me. Of all the silly things in this game that was really impressive when it first came out was this. He turns. He actually turns. Alright, um... Where do we go now? Magic arrow. Magic arrow says we go through the side passage. So be it. Oop. Cast detect. Uh, that way? Alright, fine. Um, see, I think this is where it is. It's this little dead end. And if we're in the right spot, there's the door. Open the door. Can't. Not close enough. How can it? Is it humanly possible to be any closer? Alright, we'll do it this way. Nope. Oh, yeah, we have an open spell. <laughs> Cast open on door. And we'll walk into the stars. You have entered into a very strange place. The path of which you walk, carved from ivory, the walls carved in marble. down. When you look up, you're saying black. <laughs> no, really? They have just happen to have a ivory and marble black void in Shapir. 
Through the halls hug with portraits of many wizards. Some pictures you recognize. I also hear several voices. Who are you that enters the lofty portals of the Wizards Institute of Technosery? I knew it! It was Technosery. How rude. Doesn't seem to be house trained. Ah, uh, crap. I should really save before doing those things. I'm just gonna be so temperamental. And I just saved over Let's Play 2. That's okay. That's, that's not the end of the world. I think I can just cast open on the wall. Yeah. Now that I know where it is. Not sorry. Why have you sought to enter the wizard's... Institute of Technosery. To join. Hey! <clears throat> Cast open. I guess we have to do this the wizardry way. By answering pop quizzes! Why have you sought to enter? To seek knowledge. Assuming I spelled it right. Ah. Oh boy. Um. Why don't I remember how to get in here? All right, one more time. Ah, to learn magic. Now, who do you call upon to be your sponsor and mentor? I'll give you one wild guess. Aras... Ah, crap. How the hell do you spell it? There was some... Home oh, I think that's right. Do you... Actually... <laughs> uh, yeah? <laughs> do we have... Uh, yes, yes you do. If we had to endure it last game, you were doing it this one. Besides, he's really entertaining. Uh, voice of Erasmus. Let me see. Tolka. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I should have had, actually I should have picked Fenris. Fenris would be a much better uh, refer referral. <laughs> of course. He was good. Oh, boy. Aha. Initiate for wit. Of course. Now, Hero of Spielberg, before you can be initiated into wit, you'll have to excuse Rose. She's decided uh, something outside is worth barking at again. Ah. Uh, before you can be initiated into wit. <laughs> Apparently, I don't like the abbreviation. <clears throat> you must first prove you are magically and mentally worthy. You will be presented with a choice of three objects. Using the spells at your command, you must choose the correct object, move it to the stand, and cause it to ring using only three spells. <laughs> well, good luck. Okay. 
Or Mellow as he grew balder. Uh, I swear the puns in this game are gonna kill me. Ah. Uh, All right, let's do this test. Ouch, my nose. <laughs> Cannot move your legs. Uh, all right, I'm going to save. Here. Now, this is pretty obvious, honestly. First, you need to cast detect to find out which spell it is you need to cast fetch which oddly doesn't just bring things to you you can use it to move them around even though it's not really self-explanatory in the name of the spell and the third thing you do is you cast trigger but just out of curiosity Oh, yes. They don't like it. <laughs> oh, come on. If you hit it with Force Bolt, it should ring. Yeah, they just kick you out. Okay. That's what I figured. Alright, let's do this again. Caps Detect. It's a different bell. Cast fetch to plop it on the little post. And then you cast trigger, which triggers spells. And it's having a party! And fireworks. And of course it's pink. Well played! Well played, Sir Mage. Can be considered a true wizard. You must try pass the trial of initiations, which they will do. Mm-hmm. Can say no more, so say no more. Ah <laughs> uh, boy. Showing yourself to be resourceful in your use of spells under simple conditions. Right. Uh, I must prove that you are capable of using magic under time critical and life threatening. <laughs> Very life may be endangered. Something will actually kill us! Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is perfectly normal. Walk along narrow pathways over infinity all the time. <laughs> Might now stand into the wind. Um. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Silly mage. Uh, three A. Just a, okay. Cast levitate. I think that does it. Uh, nope. I guess that doesn't do it. <laughs> okay, you can just walk right off the edge and get pooped out. I should probably stop running. Cast. Uh, cast. Fetch. Oh boy. Um, now we cast Levitate. Up oh, and oh, ow. Uh, 
All right, cast fetch. Levitate. Ha-ha! <laughs> you can't touch me up here! Whoa, 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 whoa. Wasn't expecting suction. And now we may walk. And this video is getting slightly long. Face raging earth and stone. Ooh. It's made of earth and stone. How fancy. Well, that's probably enough for now. Next time, we will be finishing the Mage Trials and we will become a full-fledged wizard. I wonder if we get a pointy hat. I'm hoping we get a pointy hat. Uh, until next time, Tolka out.